Um, I found Dr. Radlin on Facebook. A friend of mine posted her information. I went to the website. It was so easy to navigate. And of course, like everybody else, I wanted to know how much it was gonna cost. So I submitted my information. Her office got back to me so quickly that I actually was wondering who they were when they called. Um, they were able to run through my insurance and, and ensure that everything was gonna be taken care of. And very quickly, I had an appointment came in, I loved her immediately, her spirit, her energy. She told me, here's what's gonna happen, here's what you have, showed it to me on the iPad so that I could really understand what the procedure would look like. And we set a date. And um, I was very excited for the first time in my life to not have bunions, because as far as I can recall, I've had them. I had surgery uh, two months ago. It was a wonderful experience, honestly. I went to sleep, I woke up, everything was fixed. We had about two weeks, it was a little uncomfortable. You know, wearing the ugly shoe, because nobody wants to wear the ugly shoe. So I kept myself in the house as much as possible, followed the instructions, did the exercises, walked around as I was supposed to. Um, and honestly, within two weeks, I was back in the office. I was where I've been back at work now for six weeks. Um, I had a little manipulation procedure about two weeks ago because honestly, I was fine, but I had a little more swelling than we probably would have liked, a little more pain than we probably would have liked. Um, she did that procedure and I don't know what she did, but her fingers were magic. The very next day I was back in the office, everybody noticed how well I was walking and I feel like come summer, it's time for the beach. It's time to put these feet in some sand and, and really get them going. What I found really interesting about the website is how easy it was to navigate. Of course, nobody wants to say like, I need foot surgeries, my feet aren't cute, right? But then you look and you realize how many other people are having similar issues. Being able to look at some of the before and afters, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe this is a thing. Um, I, like I, I said, I had bunions my entire life, so I just kind of learned how to live with them and live with the pain of them, quite frankly. But the site kind of made me feel a little bit more confident about just reaching out and, and trying to get at least a consultation to find out what was possible. One of the things that really struck me most about the website, quite frankly, were how many other black people um, I saw represented. And honestly, that worried me the most. I was worried about recovery. I was worried about, you know, scarring and keloids and all of those things that, you know, you hear about with the black community. And when I realized, okay, this is a black doctor who has a lot of black patients. And frankly, I feel like maybe I could trust her a little bit better to be honest with me, to understand what it means to be a black patient going through a surgical procedure and really lead me in that way. It, I felt seen. Um, frankly, and, and that really was the thing, the catalyst that made me make the consultation appointment. I would say one thing that is kind of surprising is when you look at the website, you see that there are all kinds of feet on there, you know? And usually that's not the case. So I appreciated the diversity of her clientele. It made me understand that she knows what she's doing. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what your feet look like. Um, there, I promise there will be some that look worse than yours. There'll be some that look better than yours. But the bottom line is feet are feet. She knows what she's doing. At this point, since I've had surgery again two months ago, I don't think there's a person that I've spoken to that has asked, like, what you have done? And I said, oh, I had my bunions removed. And they say, oh my gosh, I have those. That I haven't said, oh my gosh, I have a great doctor for you. It doesn't matter like who that person has been. It's just, I have a great doctor for you. And this procedure has been so much better than I expected. One of my best friends got this surgery seven years ago. She's to this day not gotten her other foot done because her recovery was so difficult. Her procedure was a lot more difficult and her scars on the top of her foot, it is not pretty. <laughs> um, she didn't go to the pretty feet doctor like I did. And I tell people, oh, you can get this done and your feet will look great and they'll look amazing and they, like I said, ready for the beach. And I strongly encourage and I have encouraged any and everybody who's told me they're suffering and struggling the way that I was to really get the surgery. Particularly those people who are like, mine aren't that bad. Mine weren't that bad, but they were causing me pain. They were making my feet feel uncomfortable in certain shoes. 
and it, it was time and I encourage everybody, everybody I've come across, it doesn't matter, men, <laughs> women, <laughs> black, white, everybody, come on, come see Dr. Ragland. I'm telling you, I have given out her number. I have friends in uh, the DC area that where I'm from and telling them, hey, you know, she can come down here too. She has an office there. So pretty much anybody that I've encountered who's told me they've had foot issues, I have given her information to.